All right, here we go. When I eventually come back to the Citadel, I will definitely find Emily. Oh, almost. There we go. Son of a gun! I thought... Okay. Okay. I forgot where to go. Hmm. I really forgot where to go. Alright, let's try this one more time. You know what? I feel like a fool. Because, you know, I think I have to go to C-Sec Academy anyway. Because I have to tell this guy about my uh, weapons. There we go. The guy who I spoke to earlier, who gave me... I don't even think he gave me a discount. He just recognized that I was there. Or he called me Commander Shepard. And I didn't get a discount, but I think because I'm a Spectre now, I think I'm getting this discount. So let's find this guy. Oh no, trying to sucker me into another elevator. Should be close. Nope. He hates me because I messed something up. Oh, okay. This is where I have to go. This is where I have to go to talk to Captain Anderson. I remember now. But what about my other guy who gave me the discount on the weapons? Okay, I think it's this way. <laughs> got it. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. The system's telling me to offer you our select stock, Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Now that's what I'm talking about. Still no discount? I mean, is this really how it's going to be? I think the packaging is so badass. Like... <laughs> Man, hopefully they do that Mass Effect Andromeda, where you can just open up, like, like see these things open up. I feel like the casing is so cool. Because isn't that what it's all about? Presentation? That's what makes Apple so popular. Damn, that's a, how much is that? Damn! Yeah, I'll come back for all this stuff. But isn't that what makes Apple so special? I'm not getting into a debate versus Apple versus Microsoft. But man, something about Apple. When you go into that store, or when you buy your first MacBook, you know, it's just a presentation. Everything feels so nice. I feel like you're getting something extra special that everyone else has. And don't we all like to feel special? Okay, 
XP. Oh, come on. Alright, I know where to go. I was joking before. Go up this elevator right here. Docking bay. There we go. I win. Let me see this. What about this one? Nope. Don't want to go back to the Presidium. When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Racist. Garris, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Torian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. I'd like Shepard to chime in. With his jerk counselor, Udina. I was right. I don't feel like talking to you right now. Mm. Oh, God, this is beautiful. <laughs> Please let me go a little further. Oh, man. Wow. I'm like in awe. I, I played this game a few times, but it still shocks me every time. Alright, I don't want to talk to you, Udina. I guess I have to. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Mm. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. Wow, extra dramatic. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't have to go where they where these options. I can go wherever. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's that your seems decision. Like a good idea, though. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. 
But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sam. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> He's like, I definitely don't want to talk back to Ambassador Odina. Oh, goodness, finally. I'm pretty sure most of the stuff on the Citadel that we had to do is done. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Uh, let me guys know. Okay. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission. You're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. <laughs> this is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Damn, that was badass. <laughs> Ashley was like, oh my god. Mm -mm -mm, I need me some shepherd. Let's talk to the crew. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Talk that talk, Joker. Talk that talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I 
I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class hmm. in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. <laughs> Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. I didn't think the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not going to hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, Damn right. I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Oh, <laughs> gotta talk that talk, boy. I need to know more about this Brolic syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Mm. I like Joker. But some of his comments can be a little condescending. Like, I don't know. That's just me. Still a cool guy. Funny. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Let's try it again. Fine. God dang. Alright, fine. He doesn't want to talk. Must be mad about something. Okay, that was weird. Let's try it one more time, people. Alright, he's gone. I, I gotta treat, keep trying. I gotta. It's so badass being saluted. So badass. Alright, let's have some conversations with some other people. Oops, sorry.
Hey! Okay, I'm guessing this is my personal quarters since Captain Anderson is gone. I leveled up, so let's see. I'm not a big pistol person, but I'm sure I'll need it eventually. But I am more of a fitness person. Uh, that and what's this? Damn, decreases the cost of items? I didn't know that. Ooh. Uh. Yes. Um, immunity. Oh shoot! I should have did that. All right, I'll level up soon. Okay. I think the highest level is level thirty. If I'm not mistaken, level thirty is the highest, and everything gets transferred over to Mass Effect Two. Okay. All right. These I don't care about. Let's talk to more people before I decide what I want to do.